Here we have an Asus laptop that came in because it does not work. The laptop does power on. When you plug the charging cable and press on the power button, you do see the backlight on the keyboard and uh, you do see the charging amber light on the laptop, which means, which is an indication that the battery is being charged. But the screen is black and nothing is showing up on the screen. We already disassembled the board right here. And let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. We know we're not going to have a short circuit on the board, at least not on the power MOSFETs, because the laptop does power on. But we're going to check anyway. We're going to go over this bit by bit, and hopefully we can figure out the problem quick, like we always do. Because sometimes I get comments like, how come you do not do more involved repairs? Define what more involved repairs is. If you have the knowledge, if you educate yourself on how to fix electronics, then everything will become easy for you. Every laptop that I work on, it takes me no more than 10, 15 minutes. If something is going to take a lot of my time and there's no light at the end of the tunnel, then we deem it a no fix. But most of the times, I would say 85% of the times, a laptop does not take me more than 10, 15 minutes to figure out. So knowledge is power. Expand your knowledge and everything will become easy for you. If you do not have the knowledge, then everything becomes difficult. And even the easiest repair will become a nightmare for you. Meter in diet mode. And let's quickly go over this. No short here. I mean, I know those boards inside out. So I'll quickly go over it. Scan through it. Let's go down a bit, right next to the CPU. And we're doing visual inspection as we go over the board also. So two in one, we measure and we look at the board to see if there's anything obvious. I mean, right here, I'm getting zero point I'm getting 0 0.1 voltage drop on the gate here, and that's low. That's very low. If we measure here, we have 0 0.45. If we measure here, we have 0 0.45, and 0 0.1 is very low. So does that mean the MOSFET is bad? It's possible. 0 0.456. I don't know. Zero point one voltage drop is low on the gate. Let's continue with visual inspection quick and then we'll come back to that component. And if we flip the board. Let's go back to that MOSFET that measured 0 0.1 voltage drop at the gate. This one right here. And I'm going to replace it. I do not see anything else obvious with the board. So that's the one option that we have right now.
and if we measure gate now what do we get and look at that 0 0.5 before we got 0 0.1 now we are getting 0 0.5 so that's a very good indication that that component was probably bad lucky right I'm a lucky man I figure out faults quick the nice thing about repairs is if the repair turned out to be easy or hard or more involved as you would say price is the same the laptop that we fixed yesterday it came from you break I fix we changed one component they are paying the same price Ubrake iFix is actually one of our biggest clients buying micro soldering tools off our e-commerce site from all over the states. And just to save the world from complaints, let me just get rid of this. Because someone smart will say, how come? Why is that ball there? Why is that ball there? End of the world. Let's go ahead and measure again. We're going to measure gate. Uh, what do we have? 0 0.56. Awesome, 0 0.56, beautiful. I'm gonna give this to Big Boss to reassemble and test and I'll be back. I'm back and no luck. Same thing, the computer does turn on with the lights on the keyboard, but the CPU is not hot at all. The CPU is that cold, like before. Right now what I wanna do is look under the thermal camera. Let me plug the charging cable. And I just want to monitor the board under the thermal camera to check and see if there's anything obvious. And right now I do see a heat spot right here. Anything else? There's one sharp heat spot right here. What's this? Let's check and see what that chip is. This is the NCP 81215D. And looking online, this is a QFM power IC chip. Is it possible that this chip is bad? Or something else is causing that chip to heat up? I do have many donor boards right next to me. And right there. Actually, that's exactly the same board. Yeah. We have exactly the same board right here. So we can remove the chip from here and put it on the board and see if that will solve the problem. But before I do so, I just want to quickly measure around the chip. I see that we have a short here. Meter in resistance mode. What resistance are we reading on this capacitor? Zero. And 24, so that's not a short. Just low resistance. I mean, nothing stands out surrounding the chip. Nothing stands out. I already measured all those MOSFETs that you see here. Eight K is good. Why don't we replace the chip and see what happens? So we do not waste a lot of time.
And now we're gonna grab the chip from the donor board. Right here. And let's solder that chip. Hopefully that will fix our problem. Right now, as you saw under the thermal cam, the CPU is that cold, so it's not even turning on. There's a very good chance that this chip will solve the problem. And the fact that there's a sharp heat spot on it is abnormal. And we're going to have to put this cap back. See, it went back in place. We're going to press and hold. And the job is done. We're gonna leave it like that with the solder balls popping all over the place. And the chip is soldered nicely. And let's see. Will that change anything? Ah, CPU is hot. The CPU is hot. CPU burned my finger. But you know what? I think we need to put the heat sink and fans. So the motherboard does not shut off. I touched the CPU and it was burning hot and that's good news because the CPU was that cold before. Let me grab the heat sink and I'm going to plug the fans in and we'll see. Right here. I do not think we need to install the battery. Fume extractor off. Right now we have everything connected. I have the RAM stick, I have the hard drive, the heat sink and both fans, although I do not have the heatsink bolted down. It just sits on top of the CPU and GPU. Will that work? Is it gonna work? The fans are spinning now, they were not spinning before. Laptop just went off and that's probably because the CPU is getting very hot and the heatsink is not bolted down. I just want to see something on the screen and we can call it a fix. I'm pressing down on the heatsink. See the fans are spinning high. And that's because the CPU, oh, I heard something. Is this reconnected? The LCD is not connected. I mean, we have a couple of signs to indicate that the laptop is functioning. Fans are spinning, they were not spinning before. The CPU is getting hot. And I did hear that tone that you get when you are in Windows. Let's try this one more time. Nothing is assembled right now. If I let go, everything is going to fall apart, including the screen. The screen is not screwed in. The fans are not screwed in. The heatsink is not screwed in. The battery is not screwed in. But all I want to do is 
try it and I want to see if it comes on. That's all I want to do. And Big Boss can reassemble this tomorrow. All right, so let's see. Yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. We did it. And for those of you who enjoy easy fixes, that one was for you. Wow. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.